single unit. Live coverage of the NBA here on 2K Sports. A happy Sunday evening to you and yours. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brett Beer, and from the sideline, David Aldridge. Missing some depth tonight, but the starting lineup is intact for this team. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. Vucevic in its center with Williams next to him. The wingmen, White and Levine. And it's Giddy in at the point guard position. And for the Raptors, Barnes and Pirtle make up the inside pair. Mitchell is out there with Dick, and it's Barrett in its small forward. And if you claim to be a basketball purist, and Greg, I know you do, one thing you gotta love watching is great ball movement which is something both of these teams take pride in. It's always fun to watch guys be unselfish with the ball and look to make each other better. Now, here's Mitchell. Pass to Dick. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Oh, good balance from Dick. Able to take the contact and still score inside. White looking around. Now, Giddy. Levine with it. Barrett covering. And there's Levine on the assist from Giddy. Good job by Levine fighting for that position. And it's Mitchell with the ball for Toronto. Pass to Dick. Up top, Barrett. Barnes screen on Giddy. Here's Mitchell driving in. It's rebounded by Giddy. We're about one minute into the first. Bean passes to Vucevic. And Vucevic throws it down. And using every bit of that large frame for the exclamation point, Vucevic a force around the rim. Brent, some early success for Josh Giddy in the NBA. Uh, when you look at his game, what do you like most? I love the vision, Kevin. This guy is one of the most creative passers that the NBA has and is willing to take some risks. And the reason he does that is he has confidence in his teammates. But that vision by Josh Giddey is something special. Here's Chicago. White the pass to Levine. And at the top of the key, Williams. Williams has a screen for Giddy. A three-pointer, no good. In Toronto, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Barnes kicks to Mitchell. Pass to Barrett. Nice D from Levine. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Right the pass to Levine. Vucevic a screen on Barrett. On the wing, Williams. Lock at six. Levine inside the three-point line. He can't get that one. Toronto trailer. Pirtle up top. It's stolen by Vucevic. And here is Giddy. Over Barnes. The putback. Barnes grabs the miss. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. Now, Darko Ryakovich had a few moments to share with me before. We discussed the prospect of facing off against Zach Levine. Coach said Zach is an uber athlete who jump out of the gym, but he also has such a nice three-point shot that makes Levine a headache. We'll switch up who is guarding him as the game progresses. Of course, Levine can beat you so many different ways, and that'll be fun to watch tonight. Guys? Thank you, David. Timeout, timeout. And the timeout called by Darko Royakovich. He's going to have a discussion here on the sideline.
and Toronto making a change here. Abaji's checked in. Jalen Smith, he's checked in for the Bulls. First quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. To stop the run, Smith with some nice D. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. And Pirtle sends it back. And it goes out of bounds. A last touch by Pirtle. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. And here are the Bulls now. Vucevic a screen on Barrett. Here's White. Six on the shot clock. Well, just staying alert right there, R.J. Barrett with some nice defense. And it's White missing. Hey, Greg, Kobe White has proven he can run the show. Yeah, well, he's more than just a score. He's become a quality playmaker with better decision-making. But his biggest improvement has been his efficiency. Here's White following the basket by Scotty Barnes. Here's Giddy. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. That's a confident shot from the young guard, Giddy. Loves seeing him be assertive. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Giddy against Mitchell. It's stolen by Vucevic. Poke loose. Barnes looking around. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Barnes has got his second basket of the night. Now what a great option he gives them on every possession. Giddy kicks to Smith. Pass to Levine. And here's White. From outside, off the mark. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Chicago leading by four. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. And you can argue this is White at his best. Just an absolute terror in transition. Pass to Abaji. Rebound by Smith. Here's Abaji. Covered by Smith. Now Barnes. Free throw line jump shot. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Barnes has got six. If you're waiting for him to miss when he's that open, you're going to be in for a long wait. And Levine launches it from deep. No good on the last second attempt there. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Bulls lead by four. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And taking a look at Chicago's performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? Well, uh, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. Yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. The Bulls leading by four. And the defense of this Raptors team, Craig, they are built to switch. And it's no accident with their roster construction. They like having wings that can guard all five positions. Makes defending a much easier prospect. So with Vucevic on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. Dosumu is out there with Carter. Then it's Jalen Smith. Then there's Patrick Williams. 
And it's Buzelis in at the small forward position. Here's Buzelis. Carter at the elbow. Smith outside. Pass to Dosunmu. Down to five on the shot clock. The Bulls need to get a shot on. And it's Carter missing. Raptors trail by four. Raptors moving the ball around. The offensive rebound. Here's Obaji. Cranes the three-pointer. And, and just no excuse, guys, for leaving a shooter like him open beyond the arc. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin. Bulls coach Billy Donovan keeps perspective. He says, I used to come back from a tough road loss, go straight to the office and pull an all-nighter, trying to figure out what went wrong. My highs were too high and my lows were too low. You have to realize so much of it is just luck. The breaks of life. Kevin? That's right, D.A. We respect Billy Donovan as much as any coach in the NBA. Uh, but a good outlook there, you're right. Hey, thank you. Here's Shed. He has yet to score. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. I think he was surprised to see that pass coming his way and just really reacted too late. Walter, he's checked in for Dick. And a change for the Bulls. Terry's checked in for Williams. And so here is Chicago. Nothing offensively yet from them in the second quarter. Now here's Dosumu. Tight defense on him. Pass to Terry. Six to shoot. Smith sets the pick for Carter. And the Bulls with another miss. Toronto's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Here's Shed. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Making good use of his length. Buzelis able to track down the block that time. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And, guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and being able to knock it away. Jakob Pertl's check in for the Raptors. Scotty Barnes comes in for Walter. Vucevic, he's checked in for the Bulls. Bean comes in for Terry. Here's Shed. And again, no good by Toronto. The Bulls leading. To the middle. Here's Vucevic. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And guys, hold on now. I'm getting word we have Shams Charania calling in. Shams, what do you have for us? Thanks. Many consider this summer to be the most challenging field in the history of international basketball. Nevertheless, Team USA got it done in Paris. It's not getting any easier, but the star power of the U.S. men's team shine bright in the city of lights. Guys, a classic ending for a stacked U.S. roster. You're right. What a performance. Hey, Shams Charania with the report. Thanks, Shams. Now here's Levine. Back to Carter. Vucevic setting the pick for Carter. Fires the three. On the wing, Dosumu. And the three ball is good. And now a six-point Bulls lead. And when you're a high-usage player like Vucevic, you have to keep your head up and be willing to make the next pass. Here's Shed. Scoreless thus far. To the inside. In the corner, it's Boucher. Here's Abashi. Defended by Dosumu. Shot clock at three. Rebound collected by Levine. Levine's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Scotty Barnes picks one up. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bulls? Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep, putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball.
No good on the free throw. And we know injuries derailed last season for the Bulls, Greg. But with an aging core, you wonder where they go from here. I mean, the Bulls are kind of stuck in the middle of things as it now stands. Not quite good enough to make a run in the East, but not in a position where they need to start over. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for Chicago. Josh Giddy comes in for Carter. And he's good on the second. And when you talk to people about the Bulls, GA, Michael Jordan's shadow still looms large over this team and organization. And Kevin, they haven't won a championship before or since he was in Chicago. They've had plenty of good players, Derrick Rose and MVP, Jimmy Buckle as well. But the results haven't been there. Now, here's Barrett, still without a basket. Tries again. And that's two points on the way up. Using some muscle there on the finish. I like seeing Barrett be active inside. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for the Bulls. They only allowed five points in the quarter. Levine against Barrett. Levine's shot is off. Raptors trail by five. Dick passes to Barnes. Mitchell against Giddy. It's Dick on the wing. Hurdle kicks to Barrett. A three from Barnes. Offensive rebound and out of bounds as Chicago gains possession. Whitey's checked in for Dosuma. Number zero, Cody Morris. There's 47 seconds left to play here in the half. Giddy finds Williams. To the paint. Here's Levine. Over to the left wing. A wide open look here for Vucevic. And that comes off the assist by Levine. Levine's got three assists tonight. Toronto trailer. Mitchell outside. Pass to Dick. Barrett against Levine. Barrett hanging tough on that play. He gets the shot off. And he just stuck to the play. The Raptors shoot their first free throws of the game. And going back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line, about 76% altogether. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. So Barrett nails both of them. 16 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Barrett against Levine. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on R.J. Barrett. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And a very steady season for him at the charity stripe last year. He was right at 85%. The first one falls. So Levine nails both of them. Here's Mitchell. Here's Barnes. And so it's the Chicago Bulls holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Nick, what changed as the first half continued? Uh, 
we uh, we toughen up a little bit. We know we were, they were getting a lot of easy points, a lot of points around the paint, uh, around the basket, and we just started playing more aggressive, playing hard on the defensive end, and that got us uh, going offensively too. So we just got to keep doing that, play hard, and uh, should be fine. Keeping the paint tight is key. Thanks very much, Nick. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. We hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. You know, Vucevic, guys, has been exceptional. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half. Just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half. I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. Chicago leading by eight. In at the forward spots, we'll see Barrett and Barnes. Brady Dick is out there with Mitch. And it's Pirtle in at the five down low. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Here's Vucevic. Buries the seven-footer. Vucevic has got the first field goal, the second hand for Chicago. Barrett dishes to Pirtle. Pass to Dick. Barrett with the ball. Connects from three-point range. Barrett's got seven points. We're finding some room there on the perimeter. The lefty, R.J. Barrett, knocks it down. Williams kicks to Giddy. Now here's White. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. The Bulls shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Take a break, take a break, two shots. And that one falls for White. The athleticism and blinding speed White possesses is impressive. This guy plays with a lot of moxie. Both shots good from the strike. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. And Barrett has got the ball here for Toronto. Nine-point game. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. Hurdle the pass to Mitchell. There's the three. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Well, that's a shot he can hit. If you give it to him, you need a little more energy on defense that next trip down. Giddy gets to Vucevic. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Rebound by the Raptors. And you know, you can see in his eyes, he knows that is not a dunk he should have missed. Barrett, no good. Chicago leading by six. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. 
Kevin, Kobe White became one of the top candidates last season for most improved player. He says, I always tried to just let the work show. I wanted to prove that I could be a starting guard in this league. I've just got to continue to get better every day, be aggressive, and be who I am. Kevin, back to you. All right, D.A., love that attitude. Now, here's Barrett. He has seven. Jake with it. Pass to Barnes. That shot is off. Barnes against Giddy. It's stolen by Barrett. Here's Barnes. Basket counts. Eight points for Scotty Barnes. Bulls have gone one of three since starting the second half. Vucevic a screen on Barrett. Levine for three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Pirtle's got five rebounds tonight. On the wing, Mitchell. Giddy defending. Mitchell passes to Pirtle. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. For Jakob Pirtle, his parents paved the way for him to become a professional athlete. And I'd say Brent did a good job. Well, that's a good point, Kevin. They were doing some blocking of their own, just not basketballs like Jakob does. Both of his parents, members of the Austrian national volleyball teams, and building some roofs on some people trying to put down a few slams. And the first one drops. So after making the first, he goes one for two. The Bulls leading by three. Outside, White. Outside, Williams. White down low. Dick defending. Shot clock at five. Shoots. And again, Chicago. No good. Mitchell against Giddy. They get it again. Hurdle. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Yeah, this is not the team that we saw in the first quarter right now. Way more confident out there, and the cohesion of the team is impressive. Toronto with the ball. Big run right now going for him, 11 2. And Barrett swings it in. And Barrett will give you these kind of flashes. He got up that time. Chicago trailing here. And Billy Donovan decides to call timeout. This will give him a chance to discuss some potential alterations. Substitutions. Right 
to end the cold streak. And there's the bucket from Dosumu. Dosunmu's got his second bucket of the night. Important point there. Got him on a nice play, getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Here's Shed, Mike covering. Shot clock at six. The Raptors need to get a shot. Parrot for three. It's all in by the Bulls. Smith's got his fourth rebound in this one. Down low. The way up off target. And it's the Raptors ball. They're on a 13-4 run. Pass to Shed. We've got 123 left in the third quarter of the game. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, well, I settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Here's White after Toronto picking up the basket just moments ago. Here's Vucevic, and that's good off the glass that time. Vucevic has got 11 points. Can't afford to let Vucevic get comfortable. He's content to take these shots whenever the D gives him up. Master Barrett. 44 seconds left in the third. Misses from close range. For Chicago, they've gone a lackluster three of nine from the field since halftime. No sumo with it. Outside, White. Smith sets the pick for White. Sinks the triple. And now a four-point Bulls lead. And you have got to honor White on the perimeter. Once he gets comfortable from there, it's going to be bad news for the defense. Outside, Barrett. Launches it. It's good from long range. 12 points for him. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Ray. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Rolls out front. They're up by one. And we've got more action coming your way after this break. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. So with Vucevic on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. Smith is out there with Buzelis. Then it's Terry. Then it's Dosumu. And it's Carter in at the point. Here's Temple. There's a good screen. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you should miss. Carter kicks to Smith. Dosumu with it, working on Boucher. Now here is Carter. Boucher with the rebound. Boucher's got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Abaji. Charity stripe shot. That one drops for him. And the Raptors lead by one. Game winding down, and they just keep changing leads. And guys, no separation yet, and I really don't think we're going to see any all the way down. Hunter finds Terry. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Now, Dosumu. Over Temple. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off the shot before second violation. And, and those are the kinds of mistakes 
that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. And the Raptors making a change here. Carton's checked in. And the Bulls making a change also. Lonzo Ball is checked in for Carter. And for the Raptors, they're shooting around 40% from the floor here. Pass to Shed. Fires it up. And again, Toronto no luck. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Now, here's Ball. Smith sets the pick for Ball. For the three. Mobo with the rebound. Raptors with the lead. Inside. Ball's knocked loose. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Here. Vucevic checked in for Smith. Zach Levine comes in for Terry. Kobe White, he's checked in for Dosumu. And Josh Giddy subbed in for Ball. Here's Mitchell. That one wide left. Chicago has gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. And Vucevic kicks to Levine. The shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. And the Bulls lead by two. Been nice work off the pass. I like Levine's catch and shoot mindset tonight. And the timeout called by Darko Royakovic. And that timeout by coach was carefully measured, wanting to make sure that everybody is on the same page here. Somebody does it. for Toronto and the Bulls making a change also Williams has checked in and now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines what do you got for us DA hey Kevin able to listen in on what Darko Ryakovic was going over with his team he was disappointed in the shot selection he told them stay patient run the offense make the extra pass we don't have to make up the deficit all at once we'll see if they start shooting a little better Kevin thank you David Mitchell feeling it out a bit. It's the three-point bomb. Guys, what a game. Eight lead changes here. And don't be surprised if it comes down to the last possession. Giddy against Mitchell. Nine feet out. That one a little long. Toronto's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. to Barnes. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Mitchell's got three assists now in this one. Outside, White. Pass to Williams. Outside, Levine. Outside, Williams. Bulls moving the ball around. Just five to shoot. Takes a three. Rebound by the Raptors. Hurdle's got nine rebounds now tonight. 
Here's Barnes. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It goes on Kobe White. And we'll get a look at how the hustle stat game has been going for the Raptors. Great game for them offensively. I mean, coaches love seeing multiple shots per possession and then converting those second chance opportunities. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. That's good from Barnes. Bulls trail by four. White with it. He's picked up by Dick. To the inside. Here's Giddy. Makes it off the glass. No nerves from Josh Giddy that time. There's 159 left in the fourth. And Barnes gets double team. Bertel dishes to Barnes. Mitchell up top. Giddy defending. Back to Barnes. The offensive rebound. Bucket is good. Hurdle's got the lead up to four now for the Raptors. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. Now here's Levine. Down low, here's Vucevic. That shot, no good. Some solid defense from Pirtle. Here's Barrett. Pass to Dick. On the wing, Barnes. And it's off from three-point range. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Trailing by four. Good! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Well, something you never like to see, but uh, guys, he definitely looks hurt. And that's the one thing you just really can't control or even guard against, and that's injury. Yep, you can do all the stretching and all the strength training, eat right, train right, but at the end of the day, it's pretty random. Chris Boucher is checked in for Purdy. Williams against Barnes. Stolen by Levine. Over Barnes. It falls! That is world class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. And Tarko Ryakovich calls timeout. No doubt he is feeling the importance of this moment right now. Guys, what are their best options now? Hey, they do have enough time here if they shoot quickly to get the two for one. Well, we'll see if they try. Side Barrett. They double in with Vucevic for three. And again, Toronto no luck. 
I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. And they do have a foul to give. And the timeout called by Darko Royakovic. And he knows there's no room for mistakes and wants everyone on the same page. And wants their best move at this point. And if you can get a three, you shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a five. Don't force something up. You got to be smart here. Three seconds left to play in the final quarter. Kick in the corner. Mitchell outside. Barrett against White. And here's Barnes for three. Buries the triple. And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. Yeah, you could see that RJ had seen him open earlier and then got in the right spot to deliver. And Billy Donovan decides to call timeout. The magnitude at this juncture in the game clearly warranting a timeout. Levine feeling it out a bit. As to Vucevic. They could win it. Oh, it's off the mark. And we're going to overtime. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. We'll be back shortly. Live from Toronto. to have you with us as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this one. Here we go.
In at the forward spots, we'll see Barrett and Barnes. Mitchell is out there with Grady Dick. And it's Boucher in at the center position. Now here's Giddy. Williams has a screen for White. Shoots over Dick. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Boucher. Full ball. against Levine. Nice D from Barrett. Toronto shooting 40% from the field. We've got a chance now to check up on Jakob Pertl's status. David. Hey guys, the head athletic trainer of the Raptors was able to give me an update. He informed me that it looks like a strained calf muscle, but he didn't have any further details. There's lots of heavy heads in that training room right now. They have no idea when he'll be able to return. But it's certainly not tonight. Guys? information, David. He's certainly been on our minds. Now, at least, uh, we have a little more clarity. Yeah, now they have the information they need to take the best course of action. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. And here are the Raptors now. The Bulls getting the bucket. No one near Boucher as he lets it go. And the Raptors hit again from deep. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Levine against Barrett. Now here's Levine. D right on him. Ice D from Barrett. He's leading by three. Barnes passes to Mitchell. Barnes outside. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Barnes screen on Giddy. Mitchell. And he banks in the layup. Now it's a five-point Raptor lead. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. There's Levine. It's in! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. What helps Levine from mid-range? He gets such great lift off the floor. Steps back. And Barnes gets double team. Outside Barrett. Patrick Williams. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Chicago foul. Patrick Williams. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Raptors. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. And Billy Donovan decides to call timeout. He's very aware of the timing here and the significance of getting things squared away with his team.
against Levine. From downtown, rebound by the Raptors. They can more or less wrap it up right here. This has to be a very smart possession. Give them credit. They've worked hard all game now looking to finish it. You no, know, a great job of getting in position time out, time to out. win a game. It's been an all-out effort from the squad. Chicago calls timeout. They trail by seven. Levine up top, Barrett covering, and then Levine with the jam. And now they decide to foul intention. Second team down. At the line for your record. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. So he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. Some padding here on the free throw line. Some good work. Guys, let's just go ahead and call this one. It's over. Do you want to keep expending energy, or do you want to start thinking about the next one? And so it's Toronto winning this one. They escaped with a victory, although they needed the extra period to get it done. Yeah, but what a great game. I mean, both teams, I felt like, gave it their all. But when it came to OT, it, it was just all about sheer determination on their part. And that'll do it.